How's it going everybody? Mason and Shelly here with Just a Drift and today we are exploring Barranco, a neighborhood in Lima. It is a beautiful cultural hub with all sorts of street art, some delicious food, and a lot of really cool attractions. We're starting our day off in an awesome restaurant called Isalina. It has some traditional Peruvian food, but with a little bit of contemporary flair. We're starting off today with some fish ceviche with some fried octopus and the house salad. At this restaurant, everything is served family style, so it serves three or more people per serving. So if you want something in a small portion, you have to let them know. This is the small portion, which is still really big. One of the traditional Peruvian dishes that I've been dying to try is on the menu. It is lomo saltado, which is really french fries, some veggies, this has onions and tomatoes on there, as well as some beef tenderloin uh, in this beautiful beef gravy. Can't wait to get into this dish. A little bit of everything, some of the french fry, some of the onion, and then that beef tenderloin. Mm. The beef is cooked so perfect. One of the better meat and potatoes dishes I've ever had, I think. Really, really good. We just left the restaurant and we're on the way to find the Bridge of Sighs. This is one of the prettiest parks that we've been in and it's all terraced as we get to the Bridge of Sighs. And check out these sculptures up here, some sort of birds. Behind me is the Bridge of Sighs and such a romantic place. It is said if you're able to cross the bridge while holding your breath, you will get your heart's desire. Legend has it the bridge got its name because of a forbidden love. A daughter fell in love with a street sweeper and was not allowed to follow her love, and so she sat and sighed for the love she could not have. The bridge on Valentine's Day will celebrate its 145th year since it was built. We made it down to the beach for the first time since we've been here in Lima. There's a pedestrian path that goes underneath the Bridge of Size, which will take you more or less directly down to the beach. Because of everything that's going on right now with the pandemic, they don't actually let anybody onto the beach unless you're going to paddle out to surf or bodyboard. But it's still beautiful checking it out. just walked up from the beach and we are currently at a bar underneath the Bridge of Size, and we're about to have our first Pisco Sour. Now we've tried Pisco before but this is the actual first Pisco Sour and it's so pretty. Pisco Sour is delicious. It's kind of like a light margarita. It's not as salty. There's no salt rim and the Pisco itself almost tastes like this is gonna make it sound bad, but it almost tastes like watered down tequila. But it's really nice and refreshing. It's not as, as heavy as a sip of margarita is. Mm. Delicious on a hot day. San Mateo. <laughs> We 
had so much fun today walking around, eating, seeing street art, going to the beach. We just absolutely love that everywhere you go, there's street art. It's so colorful and such a fun area of Lima to see. That's all for us today. We will see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe.